one of the extraordinary things about these flooded caves is that they preserve lots and lots of species and the quality of preservation is extraordinary. We have material there that really represents entire individual animals and a fauna. So the amount of information that we're getting about the animals themselves and the animals that lived in that particular area I think is unsurpassed. It's probably the largest cache of subfossil lemurs that's ever been discovered. Madagascar is the lost world of the lemurs because that's the only place in the world where lemurs survive today. And the animals that are there now give us insight into what the earliest forms of primates were like and particularly the earliest forms of lemurs. Given that we know areas close by have produced fossils that are three or four thousand years old, our suspicion is that we're going to be working in, in that kind of a time bracket, from several hundreds of years old to a few short thousands of years old. We really would like to know how they got in there, because part of that will help us understand whether or not we have a biased or a normal sample of the animals that were living there at that time, or indeed if the animals were deposited in the cave at different times. We have several giant fossil lemurs in this cave. Um, in another cave close by where we've worked, we have another giant fossil lemur, Megalatopus, one of my favorites, had a skull that was about a foot long. But it probably wasn't the heaviest of all of these animals. There's another animal called Archaeoindris that we think was about as big as a gorilla. So we're talking about a lemur that was hundreds of pounds in weight. That's pretty big. It's a very sad situation in Madagascar. It, the, the, the threat to species is tremendous. There's a high rate of extinction. Um, it, it's, it's a very precarious situation. And to a significant degree, we would like to contribute some more knowledge about that situation so that we can plan for the future. And we'd like to know what the interaction was between people, climate change, habitat change, what happened uh, as those variables interacted with, with one another that contributed to the demise of the giant lemurs. Um, because knowing that might give us some perspective on what we have to prepare for for the future.